Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Um, so, this is the uh, video after the APCO fiasco. Um, I kind of realized I left everybody up in the air on uh, where I left off with the trailer. Uh, I believe it was uh, video number 11. I had video what my plan was. Um, I believe in the video I had uh, my workbench roughed out and the toolbox in place. Uh, so I've actually made a lot of progress since then. The workbench is all finished. I got lights in place, cabinets. So I'm going to bring you guys out there and show you what I have done. Um, I did it very inexpensively and cheap. Uh, so when I get out there, I'll explain what I did. All right. See you out there. All right, so here we are outside at the trailer. Let's jump on up in there and see what I did. All right, there's the finished product. In video number 11, uh, when I was building out this trailer, as I said, uh, contractor Paul had given me that uh, Craftsman box, donated it to the cause. He didn't need it any longer. Uh, uh, these cabinet doors are from Harbor Freight. I. Uh, bought a cabinet system and just used the frames framed them in so I'd have some decent looking locking cabinets some some place to hide the battery everything was framed out with two by fours uh, piece of sanded plywood for the uh, top painted. I got the same cabinets up here from Harbor Freight. That just so happened to fit perfectly. I mean, you couldn't get any better. I mean, it's right up to the trim. Uh, let's see. It's got plenty of storage for everything I need. Transmission fluid, oil, RTVs chemicals grommet set there's extra shelving if I need it uh, it's a tuning cabinets jets air bleeds spark plugs markers notebook uh, these go to the pegboards in the back obviously this is right up against the wall so I can't use it uh, in the set that I cut up right here and right there came with these so I put them on the wall so there'd be good storage for things I mean extra parts here coil water pumps uh, nitrous jets geez, I mean electrical wiring zip ties and just some miscellaneous stuff there I bought the uh, cheapest deep cycle marine battery that AutoZone had. Um, man, what else is there? These lights up here I got from AutoZone. Uh, they come with, I guess it was nine lights. Nine lights that you could cut up, put up wherever you want. Um, these Right here, these LED strips. They came in, I believe, 10 foot sections. I got them off of eBay. Uh, weren't quite as bright as I wanted. That's why I went across all the way back with the AutoZone lights. Uh, that bar 
was actually on that toolbox. I didn't need it any longer. So it turned into a uh, strap rack. This is a pretty nice box. Soft, soft, uh, soft closing drawers. Anyway, that's about it. I didn't break the bank building this, building it out. Uh, the, the front fascia on the the uh, workbench, just a quarter inch sanded plywood. I got it from Home Depot. Very inexpensive. I just needed something to keep the mount cabinets in tune and keep you know the batteries hidden and put my uh, fire suit and everything in. Really, really not a bad project. And I'm no carpenter. Thank God I have friends like Contractor Paul who could uh, help talk me through it. Anyway, I don't know. I rushed my way through this build so I could get this car to uh, Akko. I had it all loaded up. I think I said that in a previous video too. I just very recently, after I found out the news, took everything out of it. Um, put it all back in the garage. That's why I was going to paint the uh, walls white. But, like I said, I was rushing, trying to get to the track. So, I don't know, maybe I'll paint the walls white. Me, Paul, and my pop were uh, planning a trip to a couple tracks. See how they run, what the operations are like. Get a lay of the land. So, I don't know, man, that's about it. I don't really have too much more. So, if this helped at all, please subscribe. I plan on having more content, try to help people out. I hope some of this helped people out. I mean, I was kind of, I wasn't really gonna film it because it doesn't really do that well, but even if it gets 10 views, it helps somebody. So anyway, comment, like, subscribe, get out in the garage, finish the projects. Talk to you guys later, appreciate it. See ya.